Oxen Free is an adventure game that's part coming of age story, part teen mystery. You play Alex, a young girl about to leave school, who travels to a party on the beaches of Edwards Island along with her best friend Ren and her new stepbrother Jonas. The island is known for its paranormal phenomena, mysterious radio signals that can be picked up in different locations, and as tends to happen in these stories, things go very wrong and you're tasked with unraveling the history of the place while rescuing your friends. It's beautiful and charming and I love it. I'm Lee, welcome to Button Bash. Oxen Free is a game that emphasizes walking and talking. You're always attempting to get somewhere to rescue a friend or find an object and having conversations along the way. Unlike other games that might fall in the walking simulator category, Oxen Free never feels like a passive experience because of the way the game handles dialogue. The activity doesn't pause to accommodate dialogue, it all happens in real time, with the player's options popping up above your head as you play. Options are time sensitive, so if you can't think of an appropriate response, the game will react to that too. It's one of the best dialogue systems I've ever encountered in a video game, turning conversation into a puzzle without abstraction and without making the key decisions too obvious. It's bolstered by superb naturalistic writing and a voice cast that makes each character unique and interesting. Not everyone in the cast is necessarily likable, especially not right away, but they feel real and they make sense. Ren is funny, but kind of selfish. Jonas is really trying hard to get along with his new stepsister and make the best of the situation. Ren's secret crush, Nona, is standoffish and a bit of a nerd, and Clarissa is a total bitch. But even her reasons for hating Alex are understandable. The cast is explored with a depth and attention to detail that puts even massively budgeted RPGs to shame. It's a spooky game, with an unsettling atmosphere frequently established through a clever use of radio static and audio-visual distortion. The best stuff gave me actual goosebumps, so I don't want to spoil any of its tricks. It's a horror game? But the way that it handles horror is more conducive to laid-back adventuring. When you think of something like Silent Hill or Amnesia, those games often make you feel vulnerable by placing your player progression at risk. If a monster gets you, you have to play through a sequence again because the checkpoints are far apart. Here, you're never going to lose progress, but you're aware of the narrative repercussions of your actions. If you handle a ghostly encounter badly, you're going to ruin somebody's life. It's the kind of trick that wouldn't work if the writing and character building wasn't so solid, but it really did keep me on edge through the whole game. Now, that whole game is only going to take you about five hours to get through, and at $20 US, that length is going to be an issue for some. For me, five hours was the perfect time to wrap things up, and that concise running time, along with a number of branching plot points, means I'm definitely going back to replay it, which I can't say for a lot of decision-based adventure games. Oxenfree has been carefully built around the developer's strengths, eschewing padding in favor of polishing up the core experience, and I recommend it wholeheartedly. Take yourself over to Edwards Island as soon as you can. You won't be disappointed. I can't even, like, what is, what? 